Yeah, Dave and Jackie, just a few minutes ago, we did get an update from officials and from what we're hearing, it sounds like this hazmat situation will be wrapped up by this evening. Right now, crews are in the process of transferring this very flammable and possibly explosive material into a safer place. We do know that the crews right now are in the process of moving their mobile command center to the other side of Military Road. They expect to reopen Military Road by 7 tonight. Now, there is still a state of emergency in place right now for the town of Niagara. We know a number of homes close to the Wegmans parking lot were evacuated earlier today and homes within 1500 feet of this hazmat situation. About 80 homes were asked to shelter in place. We know that the evacuations and the shelter in place will be lifted momentarily. They had said a couple uh, minutes ago that it would be open lifted uh, in just a few minutes. Uh, crews are not in the clear quite yet. They tell us this process has been slow, but it has been safe as well. We're actually taking the material from the damaged trailer into the trailer that we brought in. Uh, things are going very well. We're able to move, able to move over all the gases. Uh, we're in the process of moving over the liquid at this point. Uh, a couple more hours, we're hoping to have this completed. Now, there are still concerns since this is a hazmat situation. We're told once all the operations here are finished, officials will lift the state of emergency for the town. Now, many businesses in this area in this and this plaza did shut down for the day because of this hazmat situation. Crews tell us some of those businesses will be reopening this evening. We know that Wegmans will be reopening at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Again, the evacuations and the shelter in place should be lifted momentarily. Stay with News we will let you know when those are lifted this evening. For now, reporting live in the town of Niagara, Rachel Monjovi, News 4 at 6.